All right, this morning we start at the front door and uh, the view that we have, which is much different than what we've had in the past. Feels good to start the day looking at uh, such a beautiful landscape and uh, view. It's pretty fucking nice. All right. So we have a bunch of progress over here, even though it still looks like a wreck. I think everyone's pretty acquainted with it, which is awesome that we're all looking at what we've got, all the resources, everything we have going on. Oh my god, where's that huge pile of crap that was just right there? Oh yeah, it's gone. <laughs> so I love roofing like this, it makes me think of Hawaii. I know it's a very different climate than Hawaii, so you know I'm down to use it for whatever really is good. Um, has that ever been used? I don't know. The dog pen, you know what I'm saying? I don't know. We'll talk about that. But um, So this hill needs some massive fucking cleanup. I love that mullen is growing on it naturally. I think we should keep that fucking going on. Um, Chrissy and I have been putting rocks at the bottom of the trees. This is just the beginning. It needs so much more work. And I look forward to collecting any rocks we find on property. I'd preferably like to keep them in their own region. Because, um, <laughs> you know, it's a lot of slope we have going on here. So now we're walking down... What is this, goodness? The northeastern side of the property. Here's the orchard. It's kind of overcast, but it's quite nice. Interesting reinforcement of the hill right above the house, but you know, it works out. Beautiful herbs growing. Thank God for those. It's one of my favorite things that I first, when I first came here, that I saw. Okay. So, Laura, I have a beautiful surprise for you. This is probably the last time you'll ever see this uh, construction reinforcement up here. The fencing. So, oh yeah. <laughs> so my idea is obviously transplant this mullen somewhere else. I don't think it should be seeding in the garden here per se, unless that's exactly what we, we want to do, you know. But I think putting it down here below the trees and having it spread throughout the field here and it, have it just sow itself would be the best thing. So, you know, or we can move it near the house, whatever. Um, I don't know anything about the soil. There's a bunch of chicken compost that's heating up. I think we need to make more. Maybe I can do that by the end of the day today. But I think that all of that glass, we could put down some sort of, like a stump perhaps, in the corners and lay those glass doors on top of here and it would be elevated enough that there's airflow, but not too much that animals can get in there and eat, which is awesome. I mean, I'm not worried about rodents, but more or less deer. And with that protection, then we don't need this crappy fence for right now, you know. But I'm excited. I mean, I, I really think that there is a lot of this stuff, this um, orange plastic. There's definitely a use for it, and we'll, we'll come up with something, but not here, I don't think. So yeah, here's a bed. Look how it grows, it just thrives. I don't know if it's because of the water runoff of this garden or if it's this irrigation hose right there, you know? But we'll see. So yeah, this is the first view of the, the garden. I can't wait to see the next few stages.